Hello and welcome. In a previous tutorial I showed how you could use a file that I created that contained several crosshatch fills and how you could copy those uh, fills to other objects. Well in this uh, tutorial I'm going to show how I create a crosshatch fill from scratch. So let's begin. I'll just control and mouse way up to zoom in a bit. Okay. Now with the Bezier pen tool, or B, I'm just going to create a vertical line. Click control to constrain the vertical, click and enter and back to the select tool and I might as well make that a neat height, let's say make that 40 high. Okay, now I'm going to use the transform menu, I'll bring that up with control shift M, think of M for move and I'll move that uh, let's say 5mm horizontally but first I'll control D to duplicate then apply that move, control D, apply that move and so on until I've got uh, a square of vertical lines I think that's enough okay go back to the first one control D to duplicate that and rotate it 90 degrees I'm just going to move it into this position here, notice it snaps I've got snap to uh, cusp nodes on so that's uh, achieving what I need now I'm going to go back to the transform menu and create a copy or duplicate and move it down 5mm by putting a negative 5 in the vertical there. So control D and apply that move. Keep doing that. Okay, now I've got a grid of uh, cross hatching. Now if you want to change the colour or thickness, perhaps do it at this stage. Let's go to the stroke style over here. Uh, control shift F, fill and stroke if you need to bring that up and if I wanted to thicken that up I could let's say make it 1mm if I wanted to make it uh, bright green I just click on green, nothing happened, Control Z uh, let's shift click the green let's uh, shift click make it a darker green ok so let's say that's the fill I want but I want it diagonal what I'm going to do is select it all, Control G to group and Control right bracket 3 times, so just right bracket 3 times, 1, 2, 3 15 degree increments, so 3 is a 45 degree rotation. OK, zoom in a little bit. Now I'm going to uh, create a square. If I, uh, well, I could probably do it with the Bezier pen tool too. Just click that. And I'm going to, it depends on how big a square you want to create. Let's just um, start in the middle, so click. I'm snapping to cusp nodes in the middle of this green diamond and when it's red there I can click completes the square ok now that was on top that black square and that's what I want I'll select both objects the grouped green grid and the black square go object clip set ok now control sorry alt I turns that into a pattern OK, now <coughs> I'll notice I moved that around a bit and uh, the pattern uh, didn't move with the object, doesn't matter. Uh, that's something you can uh, set I think up here. Uh, there it is, that wasn't highlighted so I could have had that highlighted if I wanted the pattern to move with the object. But let's just create a bigger rectangle over here and see if we can apply that pattern fill under fill and stroke, under fill is the pattern fill it'll probably apply the last pattern I created which is that green one and there it is, if it doesn't you just look for the uh, first one I think under, whoops I go back and apply no I've selected another white stripe here somewhere uh, should be under here somewhere, oh see this pattern at the top 8, 8 877, that's the one that I want if I lose it and need to put it back. So there we have it. Of course you can create a, an ellipse or a circle, apply that pattern fill as well, and there we go. So, that completes this tutorial, and as always, thanks for watching.